the journalism of the day because I swear to God that they don't want me and I'm nobody and I don't know journalism but some of the stuff that CNN does or even these news outlets do to allow these people to sit up here and lie and not have nothing to come back on sometimes um, they do but most of the time it's like this is scripted I'm gonna let this happen this yep. is what they say in my <clears throat> ear I can't mm -hmm. do this yes. you know, you say this yes. you can't fight back Okay, so here, let me make it easy. First of all, you do know journalism because you're a person with a brain. And it's not hard, right? Journalism is not hard. It's asking questions and then asking follow-up questions. <laughs> and if the person doesn't ask the question, you keep asking the question. And then you tell the person they didn't answer the question that you ask. It's asking good questions and requiring answers. And if you don't get answers, then you say they refuse to answer. When you're writing or when you're talking, they refuse to answer the questions, which then by, by itself will make you come to the conclusion or allow you to come to the conclusion that this person is either hiding something or they don't want to answer your questions. But journalism is just asking the questions that people need to know and getting the information and then verifying the information. That's the other component of journalism that doesn't happen. Our problem is we have mistaken cable news, which is WWE, which is a sports version of the news, which is ESPN News for actual journalism they've never been journalists they've always been news readers at the best they have a string of producers and they sit in a room and they decide what's going to bring up the ratings mm -hmm. i remember when this breaking news thing started to become like every single story was breaking news i was like that's not breaking news and then it can't be breaking news two five hours later right. it broke already like, are y'all still doing breaking news? Well, now it's 24 hours. So now we got to, each audience, we got to keep it going. And it's it's for your emotions and it's for your algorithms. It's for your eyeballs. It's not for your knowledge. So if you really want to know good journalism, I'm, I, you know, I, I have a subscription. It's very expensive to the Financial Times because I want to know what the world, and thank you, Dr. Carr, for introducing me. But I, I got that subscription. I actually, I like the Rolling Stone magazine mm -hmm. because I feel like they, also, and they have a lot of, you know, outlets under them. Yep. I will watch, I will read the New York Times, but I got to verify someplace else because they get janky sometimes and they have a particular worldview that may not line up with the truth. They are driven by something other than the truth sometimes. Washington Post is pretty reliable. I'm going to go to AP because they're supposed to be who, what, when, where, why. AP, Reuters, they're supposed to be that mm -hmm. and nothing more. Give me the facts. But, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. And it's, it, it, I am really sad by the state of journalism right now, and I can't say enough about it. I'm no longer a journalist, but I'm, I'm watching because this generation doesn't even know what that looks like. And because I teach it, I know that most of the media majors don't even read. They don't read yeah. books, which is important for a journalist. It's important for a journalist to know. You know, if you're going to go into a certain, you better read you some Howard French. You better know some things about Israel and the Middle East, whatever they call the Middle East, what's going on in Africa. You better read some things so that you can bring that knowledge into your journalism to ask those good questions. Good questions come from knowledge. Mm -hmm. So people need to know stuff. So that I can't explain and, why and we are. Like, a that. lot of times I'll find stuff is covered better by outlets that aren't in America. Like sometimes I'll see like a BBC report and be like, I learned more in this than I learned in some of the stuff we have here. You know, um, some of the international news. We have a Japanese uh, news uh, channel on our um, cable. And sometimes I'll just watch that one because they they honestly are covering stuff in America. Like during COVID, they were covering COVID stuff better than American outlets were. It's just it's sad, really, what happened because it happened in our lifetime. I It wasn't always like this, but I don't think I can convince people I think if someone was born like 20, 30 years ago, I could not convince them like, no, news wasn't like this <laughs> before. It wasn't a cry on at the bottom of the screen, always breaking some news that you already knew about, creating a sense of panic that made you continue to watch. That, that's why I think we're in a unique position. This generation, our, our generation, I'm, I'm going to scoop you in because we are mm -hmm. both 
um, Generation X, um, on both sides of it. Mm -hmm. It's our job to build a bridge because we're old enough to remember. We're old enough to remember rotary phones. Mm -hmm. We're old enough to remember, you know, you better come in when the lights come on, the street lights. We're old enough to remember when you could play outside, when people play jacks and double dutch and kickball. And, you know, we are old enough to remember. And we also are in this tech space where we understand that we're not like, what's this uh, tickety talk? We we know stuff, you know, on both ends. So it's our responsibility to build a bridge. And I think we shall. I think we shall. Um, We're old enough to know what what we're losing. Like we're old enough to be like, oh, you used to have to like uh punch a person in the face to do that. You know? What I'm yes. <laughs> like you have yes. to risk a punch in the face, and that just changed the dynamics of what you was willing to say to somebody. And now y'all don't got that. <laughs> no, there's no there's no threat of your nose being shifted at all. <laughs> 